in this game you have only 60 seconds to gain many items as possible and throw it in the bunker. If you don't get in time, the game is over. So let's go for the first round. We are looking where the good items. Here is nothing. This is good. All the good stuff are here. So the briefcase, weapon, some food. The two kids are near. Yeah, I should start with the kid. Oh, yes. I think this will be much. So don't forget the woman. Oh, and we need the radio. Let's take the food. No way. And next the radio. Oh, no way. No way, we should... Woo! I think we have enough. Day one. Yeah, it's look pretty full. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was close one. As long as we are all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hurrying kennel soup is healthy for you. We can't remember bringing the supplies down to the shelter, but we are not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. So we got a mess, some health and ammunition. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even take talk to cans. Some of us already do. <laughs> nice. Uh, plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some times. Uh, this is the best socket shader I've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Uh, I think you can survive up to three days without eating and drinking. Good. We decided to have some fun today and play a game or two. This first one was picking the game we are going to play. This took us most of the day and we still haven't made it up our minds. Okay. Day two. Oh, what's that? We played True or Dare. <laughs> I love this game. When it turned out, we only keep asking questions and the most common was, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? No, you don't. We decided we had enough games for now. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary and Jane today. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it will stay this way. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. <laughs> so Mary Jane insists she doesn't feel complete without her music instrument. If she hit it well, maybe her tuba is still safe somewhere in the ruins of the house. A reminder of her hobbies and what life used to be might cheer her up a bit and make the situation easy for her. Should we let her out for a quick look around the house? Yeah, why not? I think she's dead. Day three. Oh! Mary Jane got very excited when we agreed to let her look for the tuba. She say she said if she can't find the instrument, she will settle for anything else she can find, like some sheet music. We still hope. But the tuba didn't make it. We are pretty sure the made <laughs> stick. Or even the sweet sound of silence. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Or Ted wishes 
for all wishes all Ted wishes for a few drops of water. Dolores will not last long without water. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's looking a little bit wet. Yeah, let's talk a little bit water. We stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We pretty sure that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in the fo foreign language. Okay. Oh dear, what if we... <laughs> what if it's the Soviets? Holy cow. We should probably listen to it. But what about the children? Yes. Day four. Oh, Mary Jane is back. But I didn't see anything new. We are relieved at the first when we figure out it wasn't the Soviets we heard. Turned out it just was the Canadians, which isn't that much better. <laughs> Either way, there's Fulgens, and we could understand what they are saying. Not a word. How disappointing. Yeah, I understand. Uh, nothing made us happier than the sign of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from, from the surface. Yeah, let's go. It looks like it looks like the arena is still irritated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Yeah, I think Timmy should do it. Can I pick him? No. So let's put the map. Where's who, who's going? Day five. Nobody's going. Okay, what did I miss? Uh, they were clearly, clearly, blah, 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 blah. They were clearly clay, crazy, bro. Nice, crazy, but harmless. So we fulfilled their requests, and it was worth it. They turned out they, they, they turned out to be very generous. Generis, I don't know the word, and gave us, gave us an axe. They come, it was a magic battle axe, but to us it looks like a regular one. Whatever, as long as the blade is sharp. Getting something to bring for Mary Jane sounds like a rough idea. That is fine. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. <laughs> Bruh. I think he should took the mask. Yeah, let's go day five, Timmy. Let's make us proud. Day six. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we will do if he doesn't come back. All Ted wishes for a few drops of water. Ted's just must is rumbling. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Yeah, I think I should give everything a little bit to eat. No way! Good news, everything. The government is just announcing where we're dropping crates filled with supplies in our area. Finally, they are useful for something. We should head out to get these crates as soon as possible. Grabbing some protection gear might not be a bad idea. No. Day seven. I think someone is sick. No? It was too dangerous to get out there with any protection. No. This is terrible. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here. But now it's worse than ever. If we don't deal with this problem, we won't be able to cope with any other challenge that await us outside with tile shelter doors. Okay, I hope Timmy bring a new one. No, he's not back. Day 8.
Uh, why is there a skull? Our first aid kit was well stocked with a variety of magical, <laughs> magical <laughs> medical supplies, including a pack of sleeping pills. We never thought we would use them, but in this condition, it's the right thing to do. Also, it was a nice change from our usual diet of tomatoes, tomato soup. We are all rested now and can enjoy our time in the shelter. Or oh, can we? Oh, Mary Jane is water. Day 8. We always wanted to throw a party with a huge cake. For some reason it never worked. One time we were promised a great cake and it turned out it was a lie. Holy crap, portal? That was a disappointment. We are glad we're definitely getting a cake when radioactive clothes are gone. Day nine. Day ten. Um, what I'm thinking, the sky says team is don't coming back. Enough arguing, there are more important things to worry about. Ted look, looks like he got Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave. He needs to take a drink right now, Dolores will not survive without water anymore. Mary Jane seems fine today, hopefully it will stay. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, we know very little about what's going on outside. It will be a good idea to find out more. Maybe discover if anyone else made it to safety. A radio can help us with us. Eh, a radio could help with this. <laughs> Bro, sorry for this reading. Day 11. We are able to get a weak signal and a tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Nice. Would you know it? Our dear Mary Jane keeps a diary. For some reason she was hiding it in the scout book. We can keep it in our shelter. We have no dopes. What needs to be done right now? Each of us must be assigned our role and the diary must be read loud. Yes. Oh, she's a little bit stinky. Holy crap, Timmy! They... Holy crap! We managed to read the first sentence when we were <laughs> then there was darkness and pain, lots of pain. The diary's gone. Let's never speak of this again, okay? Uh, we were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the rest and added safe with us now. Uh, we decided to finally check what we can find between the rubble and our own backyard. Our poor, poor lawns and flowers on the object of desire of a war in neighborhood now reduced reduced now reduced to nothing more than radioactive ashes covered by debris nice uh, there really isn't much left there the only tree that's left is completely burned out in a in a hollow area inside the dead Ask someone who tell a tree traded squirrels made their home. We're pretty good at collecting stuff. Hope they don't mind us borrowing a few things. Two soups, nice. Uh, the garbage still has two walls left, but most things inside are gone. Not even the bicycles made it through the blast. But weirdly enough, the basket installed on the top of them did it. We find some leftover supplies there from our last bicycle trip. Nice. Oh, to water too! Holy crap! 
We spotted some sort of vehicle just down the street, but couldn't get a good enough look at it. Maybe future uh, expedition, expedition, it's expeditions will prove more fruitful. Okay, I don't know that was so bad. Yeah, let's give all drinks and food. I think we should take someone to expedition and I think it's Mary. Mary Jane. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would tough? The rats would ruin such a lovely neighborhood. We could do it on our own. Uh, the escaping part, not the running part, of course. <laughs> yeah. However, there might be some out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Let's go. Oh, day 13. We knew it, the government had no spawn and we are coming to save us. We didn't give exact dates in the radio transmission, but we assume we won't keep us waiting along. They said we will be in touch a couple of days and told us to wait for the instructions. Uh, let's take Mary Jane with... I don't want to waste the card. I really don't want to waste the card, bro. But we should use it so she can write something down. Day 14. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. We didn't accept to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, uh, yet we are, yet here we are, we can clearly have a phone ringing outside, it must be the public phone, both on the other side of the street, should someone go answer it, yeah go to me. Day 15. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a guess of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivor from a nearly town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Tim is very hungry. Still has rest. Yeah, we have enough for everyone. Let's get it. Uh, the trash can of ours is getting disgusting. Yeah, let's take the boy scout. Day 16. We've been hearing a strange noise lately. Is it coming from the outside or is it in something that came into the shelter with us? Could it be? We found nothing. We feel like we might be cry uh, we, mi we feel like we might be going crazy. We should probably get busy with something to keep us or copy it before we get rosa. Yeah, let's play some cards. I love to play spider. Oh! Day 17. Having some fun made us forgot about what was it again? I don't know. No way we get knock knock. This sound always surprises and confuses. It could mean anything, good or bad. But we are always curious. Should we open the door? Uh, yeah. Day 18. No way! I think Ted will not survive. 
A group of travelers wearing ma uh, a group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying something serious looking equipment gave us perfect water. Before we could thank them, we turned it away and left. Opening that hatch was a bit risky. It seems it gives us some over sickness. That coaching is driving us crazy. Yeah, we can't give him something. Yeah, let's go to the radio. But I think Ted, Ted don't survive. No way, Mary. Why? Nothing, nothing and nothing. We could hear nothing but an annoying static. Better luck next time. Nothing made us happier when the sign of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. The silent... The silent wasteland had at least one res resident who managed quite well. It was a proud looking monkey. We had no idea where it came from. The zoo maybe? It seems very friendly after getting a few Heads on the back and playing fetch. It started following us. Okay. While we explored one of the streets, our monkey campaign ran away only to come back moments later carrying a can of food. It could open it himself, but it was happy to share with us. Holy crap. At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. A quite in interview. What is this? A quiet investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. We believe that our expedition to the west and must have been followed by strangers. We should more caution next time. The vehicle down the street looks like someone's work in progress. We observed it from afar who could be the owner. We keep our distance from uh, the time being, but we maybe want to take a closer look in the future. This could potentially be our ticket out of here. Yeah, the problem is... We don't have enough. We decided to peek outside for a minute to see if the store around the corner will was still standing. When we were about to step out, we had a growl in the darkness and a pair of various A's appear a few feet away. We only had a moment to decide what to do. Let's look what it is. A nice puppy? Oh no, his hairs. Day 20. I know it. Oh. We decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It's what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired. So we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning we opened the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Hopefully it will come back later. Maybe a chain. It could us a little food. What? Yeah, that is gone. So more food for us. Timmy, let's go. Make us proud. Yeah, let's talk the Boy Scout. You know how to do it. Day 21. Oh <laughs> no, Ted. Why are you laying there? Timmy went out the west end. We don't know what we will do if he doesn't come back. You would expect the post apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet, since you know most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet, here we have some at the door. Uh, when we open it up, we encountered a strange looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him a water chip. A water chip? What in the hell is that? I don't know. Day 22. What is a water chip? 
The visitor wasn't very happy when we didn't have a water chip or when we didn't know what one was. He did help himself to the water we offered. He may explain the chip is of Utumus importance. Before we learned anything more, he left for the wasteland. Okay. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it will stay this way. Yeah. Oh, we received another transmission from the army. We'll be doing a quick sweep of the area and ask it all survivors to leave markings at the nearest bus stop to indicate their rounds. The markings are to be made with cards. Let's go! Day 23. Hey Red, it sounds like a herd of animates are stamping just about our heads. A crossword used to be our beautiful law. They are not getting away with it. It might be a perfect opportunity to get some fresh food. Or should we go hunting? Mary Jane, let's go. She's si 24. Oh bro, I was thinking she was killed. Too bad we never never practiced sharpshooting. Every shot we fired in the direction of those animals. We are looking like two-headed cows. Was a miss. Nice. Let's hope we will be on target next time. And now on our doorstep took us all by surprise. In it uh, in it we found a request to bring some supplies to a set location sign. Friends, friends, what kind of friends? We don't know who these people are, but here's our chance to find out. We are promising to make it worth our wire, should we help them? Yeah. Oh, I hear a dog. 25. Oh no, I think she don't do it. We arrived at the locations and meet the people who sent the letter. Twin siblings, a brother and a sister. We are taking care of a group of survivors, mostly children, elderly and injured people. Who can scavenge themselves? Yeah, let's talk Mary. They told us that we are searching the town for any and all good and decent people in hopes of maybe uniting their strange and making everybody feel safe and cared for. They thanked us and promised to stay in the touch. How nice! Um, Timmy should return it by now. We need to face the worst possible scenario he might not be coming back ow we are about to take a caution peek outside when a furry beast jumped on us good thing our herds were no better with by a fat heavy hamburger diet because it was our dog fat and not a ah mutant lucky to chew our bones. Good boy, yeah, let's took a food. Day 26. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what we put in the soup, but man, that stuff is good. We decided the dog needed a name, and the right name for his was Pancake. Come here, Pancake, who's a good boy? Pancake stayed around for a while, but was gone next day. We came back, he will come back, yeah. I don't have a medic. When we opened the bunga door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was no note on it and the neighbor seems empty. Should we take a look inside? Yeah. Oh, a gift. Oh, sorry, I read uh, <laughs> the Steam achievements. We gladly accepted this sudden gift and despite our suspicion. It turned out it was just a regular tomato soup. What do you are in love and love? Thank you, kind stranger. 
a sneezy looking trader carrying an Ikudi's curved back on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered us a simple one time deal for just one can of soup. Let's go. Day 28. Holy crap, we have a cat! Sharikov! As soon as the door closed behind the traders, the bank started to violently shake, emitting scratching, hellish sounds, terrified, backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. <laughs> But we have not so much to eat. Yesterday doing charters, we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell. Bro, what? What is this? And I was left the rose some disappointment. She insists on home or whether shelter schooling. Mary Jane a little, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Day 29. <laughs> I love a cat. Oh, we got one half pack. Holy crap. Some dirty door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. Yeah, let's take some. Day 30. Nice. The two girls. Ah, good. We are Generius, so we shared our supplies with him. He tried to make us believe that America has a working space station on orbit. Our radar head, since according to that guy, it explodes when the bombs drop. Okay. Yeah, guys, we don't have enough food. So this is what it come down to sitting idly in the shelter with every few supplies and growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like breaking into our neighbor's shelters. We know the lock is broken and we saw her restocking the shelter before the bomb fell. Should we go and check it out? Let's go. Day 31. Yeah, looks good. But we haven't some food. Holy crap! We had to do this for the family. It had to be done. We really don't want to mention it again. How about we talk something else? Soup, perhaps? Yeah, but we don't have soup. Good. No. Day 32. The army isn't coming, not yet anyway. That's today's ready news. Instead, they have been broadcasting a request for all citizens to assist them by cutting down trees in the nearby park. We don't know if someone fancy a general needs it for his fireplace or what, but they will suggest it's either then or no education, which is pretty obvious to us. Yeah, let's go chop some trees. Day 33. We chopped down as many trees as we could. It wasn't much, but hopefully it will make the difference they wanted. The next time we get in touch, it will be better from a tank packet on our lawn or what's left it. <laughs> uh, let's take Dolores, uh, not Dolores, Mary Jane, to a nice expedition. While trying to get pet with the devil, we found all, we found a piece of paper on its collar with an address scribbled on it. Could his previous owner still be around and were it sick? Chance are slim, but maybe we should pay them a visit. Day 34! We 
before we reached the end of our street, we were stopped by two men wearing dark coats and stylish hats. They rushed towards the cat to pick him up, saying we have been looking for him for a while now. Supposedly, Sha Sharikov? Supposedly, Shakirov belongs to an old lady who's rather fond of it and misses the little guy dearly. He shrugged it and went back to our shelter. The cat didn't seem to care, so why should we? Good thing we didn't get to attach to it in the last few days. There has to be some water left Dolores should get. Yeah, water we have enough. Let's take Dolores with... I think with a card. Day 35. Dolores is alone. In the bunker. Mary Jane went outside, let's hope she will hurry back soon. Oh no! Oh, we can get a briefcase, let's go! I hope in the briefcase is something nice. Day 36. Yeah, they gave us the briefcase. The last soup, guys. We could use some extra supplies. The last time we went on a supply run, we noticed a damaged tank strike in the rubble in Abbey. How about this? Yeah, please don't die. Then, no! The last thing we accepted was a giant explosion. We could have a debris falling from the sky and hitting the sad remains of our house. The tank must have been boggy trapped or contained by and explosives. Why did we do it? Why? To our surprise, we want Shakira back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. Is it our good care, <laughs> appreciance, or kind words, optimist, or just upstocking our soup cans? And Mary Jane's supposed to bro, everyone died. <laughs> 